on giving. Um, how dare they? I mean, how, our freedom fight is like Kosovo's, says the SNP. Unbelievable. Um, the SNP, Kosovans might have something to say absolutely. about that. Absolutely. The, the SNP has claimed the Scottish public are a people. I mean, come on. I identify as a Scotswoman, right? OK, end of. But I'm British by sovereign, by birth. Mm. OK, we have not had... Um, another um, SNP vote for independence yet, although um, Nicola Sturgeon has um, advocated that she sent to the Lord Advocate in Scotland that she wants a, a pretendy ref, we like to refer it to as, um, in 2023. I'm sorry, but now she can't say that and then say, well, the next general election, why don't we make that a de facto referendum then in case of, you know, people don't want to vote for mm -hmm. Conservatives or they don't want to vote for Labour, they can just vote for us. And that will mm -hmm. show them, well, I'm sorry, Nicola, wake up, smell the blooming coffee. Mm -hmm. It's not going to. The polls from the independence vote in 2013 have clearly shown there is not the appetite for independence that the SNP seems to think they have. And whilst I'm on it, I mean, how dare she even turn her back on the £240 million ferry fiasco that's made the front page of the Scottish papers this morning and notwithstanding it's not in our papers in, in, in England and Wales. Mm. I mean, these, these are absolutely down to the bone fundamental points and fundamental points that need to be discussed that the SNP are not addressing. It's almost as if it's a hot potato. No one wants to touch it. It's gone from Derek Mackay, who signed the CalMac um, contracts, to um, um, Nicola Sturgeon herself, who was the first Scottish minister when the contracts were given back in 2014 that Alex Salmond um, underwrote. But, I mean, they should never have been given. It's a complete fiasco. The NHS in Scotland is a preposterous. And yet, what was trending last night? Who for the Eurovision? Let's lighten it up a bit. Shakira, Shakira, Liverpool or Glasgow? Where are we going to go? <laughs> and your vote will be? My heart says Glasgow, but my, my head says Liverpool. Why? Ah. Well, because Glasgow has the infrastructure. Um, it's got two airports. It's near the, the, the ports. It's yeah. got, you know, it's <clears throat> for Europe, I mean, it's definitely identity that they would like to have. Mm. They ran COP26 last November. Mm. But, in, you know, look what happened at the Edinburgh Fringe. The yeah. rubbish piling up. I don't think it's a fit city to host anything. That's why my heart would say it, because I would love it to be there uh, for a myriad of reasons. But mm. my head says Liverpool. Yeah, David, have you heard of the Eurovision Song Contest? <laughs> um, I once represented uh, a group who won it. What? Brotherhood what? of Man. What, legally represented? Save all your kisses yeah, for legally, me. Oh, legally represented. Right, yeah, okay. yeah. But the Brotherhood of Man. Now, I bet you weren't born when the Brotherhood of Man I'm just won. I know the song, though. Save all your kisses for me.